Hello friends, welcome to my channel Amrita's Code World. Today I am back with another Python applications and I will show you how to create a simple digital clock using Python Tkinter module. In my earlier videos, I have shown you how to create a simple calculator and also a date picker calendar using Python Tkinter module. So I have started with very simple applications and slowly slowly I will take you to that level so that you can create an entire application based project using python programming language so yes keep on watching my videos and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel amrita's code world click on the bell icon for further notifications and yes do not forget to like my channel and watch this video till the end So friends, I will start with the coding now. So uh, as you know that I am presently using Python ideally. So in future, I will also show you that how we can use other applications for using Python programming language. So anyway, let us begin with the coding in Python ideally. As you can see here, friends, that the Python ideally window is open for writing the code. So first of all, what we'll have to do? Yes, we'll have to write the comment. So program to create digital clock using Python tkinter. Okay. Now, what we'll have to do? The step first, we'll have to import the functions from tkinter module so if you would like to import some specific functions that you can specify or else you can import all the functions by providing this asterisk symbol that is a wildcard character that means you are going to import all the functions next thing what you'll have to do since you are going to make a digital clock so you'll have to import few functions from the time module so i can also import the time module import time okay also today i would like to show you that how you can add an image on the window so for that we need to use pill module okay that comes from pillow actually so i am importing some specific functions so here i would like to show you that if you want to import all the functions we are using asterisk symbol then we are using from, then the name of the module, then import, then the asterisk symbol. And if you would just like to import all the functions from the module, you just, just simply, you can say import time. Another way I am showing you, like from pill, pill is the name of the module, you would like to import some specific functions. So I am taking your image uh, tk and the image function. So specific functions you can import this way. Now, we have already installed tkinter module earlier and also time module already it's present in the python when you are installing python so the time module is already present. Now I would like to show you how you can also install that peel module using the command prompt. So I am taking you to the command prompt now. So you just go to the search box of window and then you just open the command prompt by typing cmd then it's taking you to this command prompt window so here you just write pip as you already know the command pip install and then you'll have to import the plo module so you just simply write like this p i w l o o w P I W O W. So you just hit enter key. So it will install the module for you. Now see, requirement already satisfied because I have already installed PIL module or PILO module in my system. So if it is not installed in your system, 
so it will show you the steps of installation okay once it is done you just can exit from the command prompt by typing exit so these are the modules we need next what you'll have to do you'll have to create the window so i just give the name of the window as root you can give any name of the window and how to create the window by using the tk function t is in uppercase okay so then this way the window will be created okay now you can set the title of the window right root dot title right now i'll give the title as of course digital clock because that is the application we are going to do now so what you'll have to do you'll have to just specify the window size so by calling the geometry function so i just specify here geometry function i give the width and that you have to pass it as a string here so 465 by 330 now see this you'll have to get an idea that what width and height you have to specify okay so that i have given here now 465 by 330 so but you can change it as per your requirement so then you can do it root dot resizable resizable means whether it can be resizable by width and height so i will just make it yes i can resize so i can just give the parameter as one by one one comma one so that what will happen now you can resize by uh, on both the sides like you can resize width wise also you can resize height wise also so this way the window is created now let us see whether the window is created or not first we'll have to save the file so file save as so you can save it in any folder of your system so i just give the name here as digital clock digital clock okay i give the name now i will run it and i will show you this much okay as you can see that you can see the digital clock window okay nothing is mentioned here only the title you can see here because we have not placed any other control on this window yet but you can see the minimum size button then maximum size button okay maximize and the close button okay now for time being we'll close it and we will go ahead with the rest of the coding part so window is created now next thing is that i would like to add one clock image on this window so what i can do here like image i am taking one variable and then i am going to make use of image tk function which i have imported here as you can see from pillow module image tk dot now i would like to call the function that is photo image okay photo image now this function i'm calling and inside this parameter i will also open the file which file which image file i would like to add on the window i would like to place it on the window so i have actually downloaded one image of the clock here so you can download many any the clock image which is available free on the websites so you can search for it so presently i have downloaded one clock image and that i would like to add it in my code so this i have done next thing is that i have to add this image on the window so for that i am going to create a canvas okay so canvas one this is an object and i am now taking help of a canvas function and i would like to place it on this window so what is the object of the window that is root so in this window i'd like to place the image next is that you will have to canvas one object you are using for now you would like to call the create image function now the you have to you can uh, set the size and width of the image so i just like to take it as 117 by 108 okay and which image you would like to add here that you can provide it in the image attribute so image equal img so what is this img this is the variable 
which you have taken and where you actually added the image of clock so that only i passed it here as parameter and i have set the width and height of the clock image next thing what we'll have to do is that i can set some background color of this canvas so canvas one dot config the functions you'll have to use a function config and you can set the background color by bg attribute so bg equal i would like to take some i am some hexadecimal color code so for this particular uh, image i have taken the background color or the to place it in the canvas so i have taken the color code as a cc okay then i am setting the canvas width and height so canvas width i will choose it as 465 only and then height i would like to make it as 108 so this is done next once you have created the canvas you place the image in it but then we'll have to use a pack function otherwise the image won't be displayed canvas pack so pack function you can play pass the parameter as expand equal to that means if you want to expand it or not and you would like to fill it on the canvas so fill both like for both width and height so now once it is done then i just save it and yes if you would like to display all these things you'll have to use the main loop function of the window so i just complete this and i would like to run the module and i would like to show you whether this image is created or not okay here see it's showing one error why because see the name of canvas i have typed it wrong that is canvas one i have typed i'll have to type it as canvas one so i just correct it i again save it and then run the module so see here now the canvas is created with the color which I have specified and the clock image you can also see. Isn't it interesting that you are able to place the image using programming language like Python? Okay, so next thing what you'll have to do is that you'll have to go for the digital clock. Now for that what I can do here, I can display the digital clock on a level. Just like a digital clock we have seen no so we would like to place it on a label so i'm taking for that lbl1 object i'm taking for level and for creating level you have to call the label function remember that l is in uppercase okay as you can see all the controls like label canvas button the first letter is in uppercase in python so now you have to place this label on the window so root i'm using then i would like to choose a font say for example font equal the level see here how i am writing i am choosing the font as helvetica so i choose the font then i would like to make it big the so font size i am giving at 68 and then i would like to make it bold so i pass this bold in the quotes and i close the parenthesis so font is taking these many attributes the font face or the font style you can say the font size and that it should be bold then i would like to say the background color of the label as i would like to give some other hexadecimal color code so i'm using here hashtag four zero then e zero d zero this is the color code you can find many other color codes by you know searching in any search engine so then fg foreground color that is a font color which i am choosing for the digital clock so here i am using d then e uh, 31 and 63 this color code okay after that you have to give the border also so border i am giving it as 40 okay so this main loop function i will put it down because otherwise you will not be able to see the level here so i put it down now i'll have to 
place the label so lbl dot place place function you have to use now you can use the uh, relative x attribute rel x attribute and i what is this rel x attribute basically it will be displayed related to the previous object whatever you have created that is related to the image which you have created in the canvas so i am giving as 0.01, .01 and related to y coordinate okay so i am giving here as 0.5 all these values you will get an idea once you start practicing give different different values and you see that where it should be placed and all that so you'll have an idea that what value should be specified here and i give the height of the label as 150 now i'll just save it and i run it let's see whether any level we can see it or not see we can see here one level okay so the level is done now thing is that we'll have to place the clock over there okay so now next step what we are supposed to do i am going to define a function for displaying the digital clock so i'm giving the name of the function as uh, dh underscore dh underscore clock okay so then I'm going to define the function now. To display the function, we have some ready-made functions available in Python. So I'm taking one variable name as system underscore time equal. Now I'll have to make use of this time module which you have imported here. So we have one function time dot str if t if time str if time so what is this basically i will just explain you just let me pass the parameters here so here the format i am giving as our okay format see here the format is in hour then minute i would like to display the minute also and then colon and i would like to display the second okay so and that should be inside the quotes now what is this strf time function it is used to convert date and time objects to their string representation okay it takes one or more input of the formatted code and it returns the string representation so we have given the formatted code here as hour colon minute colon second so it will be converted into string now you have taken the system time and you have converted into string but what about to place it on the level so lbl dot config function you are going to place it on the level so lbl dot config now you'll have to write text equal what now the whatever time you are getting so that you have to place it here i just copy and paste this so as a text so it will be that clock will be displayed as a text on the level as a caption now next thing what you have to do you'll have to now this will show you only once the timing now if you want to keep on you know run the clock every second it should display on the level so for that you'll have to use lba dot after function after how many milliseconds you can pass it as parameter suppose i am taking after 200 milliseconds the digital clock should be updated now here you again pass this dig underscore clock function so what will happen every 200 milliseconds this function will be called and you can see the updated time on the level okay so after 200 milliseconds this dj underscore clock functions will be invoked now this function is divide uh, is defined but this function first you need to call it otherwise this function will not have any effect in python so you call the function in the main part of the id so now since you have called it so let us see now you save the code and then run the module okay see here now one error is there as you can see because here attribute 
I have written the wrong spelling. So here we'll have to use config. C O N F I G. So I just save it and run it again. Now see the nice digital clock is displayed in front of you. Okay, this is time is shown from my system, and since every two hundred milliseconds, the it is calling that dig underscore clock function. So you can see the updated time here. So it is as if the digital clock is running. Okay, so and you can see the image also above it. So today we have learned how to click a simple digital clock using Python Tikinter module and also the time module, which will be required for the time related functions. And also we have learned that how to create a background image. We can place an image on the canvas of the window. So friends, isn't it interesting? Okay, I hope you all have enjoyed watching this video and you have learned how to create a digital clock and how to place a background image on the canvas of the Python window. Okay, so like this, I will come up with more and more videos on Python applications. So please do subscribe to my channel on the Discord world. Click on the bell icon for the notification. And yes, do not forget to like my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you.